Yeah, dude. Hey everybody, I've got good news for you and bad news for me. This video is loaded with all kinds of juicy stuff that's never been seen, but some of it might be the cringiest, douchiest footage of me I've ever put out there. Oh yeah, yeah, fucking hey, dude. I hate to have your ass kicked. It's the stunts that got me banned for life. Smoking is not permitted. First things first, we're gonna get the obvious old news out of the way. I'm not welcome at SeaWorld. So now we're gonna go back to the beginning. The first real lifetime ban I got was in Louisiana. I got arrested for stapling my ball sack to my leg and these bouncers beat up a kid at my show. Probably a pretty harsh penalty facing eight years in prison as well, but I will never perform in Terrebonne Parish, Louisiana ever again. Now you might want to strap on your seatbelt because we are about to take flight into some footage that has never been seen. It was 2004. I was walking through an airport with a little bit of a buzz and I decided to get some footage smoking a cigarette. This is really tough for me to watch, but I got a feeling you're all gonna love it. I got in trouble. Hey, Steve, let me talk to you for a minute here, buddy. Why are you smoking in the hallway? What's going on with that? I had to. Huh? I won't do it anymore. Don't smoke in this airport. I won't anymore. And you better straighten yourself out, otherwise you won't be flying today. You understand what I'm saying? I understand. Like I said, you look like you're can a little bit of one? Can I get you a me one? No, no, I'm not gonna whack All right, then I'll just tighten it up. Steve. I'll tighten it up. Go an asshole. Let's go. We I'll gotta catch a We got five minutes, dude. Come on. I'll tighten it up. Again, I was slightly tipsy, but mostly I just wanted some crazy footage. This video might get a little bit turbulent. Right. <laughs> you need to run me over. Steve, come oh, on. No. Dude, stop. Then we get on the airplane, and I was sure that everybody on it was gonna scream with me because we were flying to spring break. Can I get a spring break? Yeah! yeah! Now, if my fellow passengers weren't super excited yet, man, were they about to fall in love with me because I was ready to light up a cigarette on the plane. I'm on a fucking commercial airline. The flight attendant was unbelievably cool. Put it out, man. One more puff, dude. He was kind, gentle, and informative. He explained that federal agents would be waiting for me at the airport. Ain't no feds fucking with me. Fuck you. I probably should have included this in my arrests video because when we landed, I got busted. Did I commit a crime? Yes, Come you on, did, get up. I know it's not a felony. No, it's just a federal offense. Come on. But we can be certain about two things. As I left that plane, every passenger on it was roaring for me. All right, can I get a spring break? Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. I have flip flops. And I received a lifetime ban from flying on Delta. Just kidding, neither of those were true. I'm booked for Delta next week. Was the first time we met uh, when I got kicked out of that uh, video game <laughs> awards? Now for another lifetime band that clearly didn't stick. The MGM Grand Casino in Las Vegas. I was there for some video game awards and I showed up to the rehearsal after having a couple drinks. So I'm supposed to present with you. I, we were co-presenters. Right, well we were. We were supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the craziest thing about this is that we actually found footage of that rehearsal. Dude, I've been in so many fucking video games and never won one of them. That's interesting. Steve. I'm just kidding. The craziest thing is what a douche I was. <laughs> Man, do you remember, Bobby, that time when we busted each other at that massage parlor? <laughs> just the, read the thing and then we're fine. Mom, we're out. Mom's the word. Just read. Oh, dude, don't be down on yourself. Yeah, don't touch right. the mic. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, hey, dude. I hate to have your ass kicked. Don't fucking be down on yourself, Bobby. Because I respect you as an artist. You know? But we didn't get video of the whole rehearsal, so I really don't know what I did that was so bad. But Bobby said... Next thing I hear is that you're banned from the MGM oh, for yeah. life. So it was probably pretty bad. Now we're going to another casino in Las Vegas, the Palms. They didn't ban me for life, but this tattoo shop in the Palms definitely did. I was there to get my Billy Bob tattoo on what I think was the very first reality show about a tattoo shop called Inked. 
Believe it or not, I might have actually had a couple drinks that day, too. Yeah! That was like tattooing a moving target, really. And after I was a perfect gentleman getting the tattoo, I walked outside of the shop, climbed up on their sign, and kicked it right in. And I kept kicking. And of course, when I climb down, I'm dealing with security. Everybody's mad at me. So, what am I in trouble? <laughs> but I'm like, we're making a TV show. I didn't harm the tattoo parlor, I helped it. Yeah. <laughs> Let me say, I am so grateful that I got clean and sober and am much less of a douche today. As a matter of fact, other than SeaWorld, I haven't really been banned for life from anything, I think except for this one company that rents out trucks and trailers. Out of respect for this company, I will leave them completely anonymous. But they rent this stuff to you so that you can haul your stuff, you know? And recently when we tried to rent a truck for them, they said, nope, we will not rent trucks or trailers to Steve-O or any of his associates because we saw a YouTube video. And what's crazy is that I've been doing stunts with their trucks and trailers for years. Like the cool stuff I did with my professional skateboarder buddy, Ryan Simonetti. It was me driving the truck that he did the world's first moving wall ride on. Plus, we did it in both directions. So rad. I think it was one of their larger trucks that we used for the super scoop with the jump ramp on the cube truck towing the landing ramp. Of course, that was in the cult classic TV the movie. Probably the raddest thing Simon Eddie and I ever did was on Lollapalooza tour when I rented a second tour bus and a trailer and while they were moving, Simon Eddie ollied from one bus to the next, then from that bus to the trailer, then to the ground. I mean, dude, it blew my mind. So, out of total respect for this company, when we needed a cube truck last week, I sent someone barely associated with me. I mean, I hardly even know the guy. And he rented a cube truck. And we were very careful to be responsible with this truck. So the swing set we built on top of it was pretty small. And I made sure that we covered their name by wrapping the truck with promotion for my new book. And we weren't just careful about that. We made sure we followed the law to the letter. We looked up the law and it says if you're wearing a seatbelt, you're all good. That truck looked so good. Of course, I got six LED billboard trucks from Gorilla LED Trucks. I'm just cruising around LA, swinging like a G with all these trucks, going down the beach in Santa Monica. People were loving it. People actually were loving it. <laughs> Big shout out to Steve-O. Just love. It was going great, but I had to get to Hollywood pretty quickly, so we got on the highway. Yeah, Woo! It was totally mellow. There was plenty of traffic. We were barely going 50 miles an hour. Woo! <laughs> And just as we planned, we ended up on the Walk of Fame Hollywood Boulevard. There were totally cops there, and they had no issue. It would appear that what we're doing is not illegal. So we parked in front of the Chinese Man's Theater, celebrated with some fans, and it was a great day. Just like I thought, if you wear your seatbelt, it's totally legal. I gotta say, I'm probably forgetting a lot of things that I've been banned for life from. But one thing I am not forgetting is that my new book, A Hard Kick in the Nuts, is now available everywhere books are sold. And it is juicy, crazy, insightful, and fun. You'd be a maniac not to get your copy today.